What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be diving into more Steam Festival demos. We've got Graven out right now, which is a first-person wizarding game. It gave me kind of Hexen vibes, so I figured we'd dive on in and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or not. If after watching this you wanted to go ahead and do that, I'll have a link for you down below in the description next to all of my socials like Discord and Twitch, which are both equally awesome, by the way. Let's spend about 25 minutes with the game and see if it's something that you think that you would enjoy. Oh, it even said Graven at the beginning like Hexen did. See, I think I got it pegged right. A pious man among pious men. Our priest of the orthogonal order humbly walks the parallel path, following the creator through service. Father to an adopted daughter, as fate would have it, he cherished her, and they shared a love of both learning and charity. But not all walk the parallel path. They serve another, not a creator, not begotten, and their transgressions lay a heavy price upon the world. When love meets fear, even the humble heart feels wrath and righteous anger, giving birth to unknown strength. Red-handed from the blood of a heretic, the blood of a fellow priest, without being able to see how once more he is tried and found guilty. What divides contrition and shame? Acceptance. Acceptance. Succumbing to the burning sands and arguing not over the price of her life. He closes his eyes one last time. A prayer for peace. You will have to earn your peace. Okay. Big spooky boat. Middle of Gross River. Little man smoking weed. Fair enough. He's rocking the Donegal, too. My man got the Donegal. Oh, I can walk around on the boat. Huzzah! There we go. I had to get my mouse sensitivity all set up. It came in way too sensitive. I don't like it when things are being sensitive out here. We're harsh, hard men who feel no sensitivity. We wear spiky necklaces and shoot spells at bad guys. Dude, can I have that red stick right there? Do you need that? I like your belly tattoos. You want to give me some magical artifacts if I compliment your belly tattoo? At times the only light in this accursed swamp are the funeral pyres. Other than the light you yourself make. Oh yeah, dude, that's a bunch of dead bodies burning on a pyre. Alright, so why are we here? This doesn't seem like the kind of place where you can get some Baskin Robbins and have a good day. Ships of land when they can scarcely dare come near. If they did, the bog would claim them, much like it did that lighthouse. Things actively seem to be going really, really wrong in this neighborhood. Always the hungriest once the coast is clear, the most desperate when not. Are we just going to ignore the fact that there's giant death frogs running around? It is better to die early. Death is natural. But this pox and what follows it is not. You die here, you become the swamp. Preserved in the peat, or one with the rock. I'm not gonna lie, your sales pitch doesn't make this seem this seem that awesome. Much has not been taken care of since the plague arrived. Fitting. Time does seem to be 
standing still. Well, at least we know the frog monsters can be killed. Don't forget your staff, priest. It's the only thing that will keep you alive. You're gonna need it more than I. Yeah, I'm not liking the uh, sense of foreboding that this game is cultivating right now. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about my survival. Like, even the fish didn't survive, man. If it can kill a fish, it can kill me. I'm much softer and squishier than a fish. Aw, oh, dude, you just leave him right here on the dock, dude? What are those? Bolts. Okay. Apparently, I've got a spell book on my two key. It looks like I can run really, really fast, too, if I want to. But I don't... What happens if I hit this guy with a stick? <laughs> my bad, bro. I just... I was just... I was just testing. It updated my journal. Journal updated. You are an asshole. You just beat a random civilian with a stick. He's out here just trying to do his job. Uh, I can jump, so that's good. Oh, I can kill the rats, too. Eh, die. Eh, I'm helping. Apparently, I'm really bad at hitting rats. What does this do over here? Apparently, it's health. All right, I'll take that. I like how the world is destructible. Hopefully people in this neighborhood don't care that much about their barrel making because I'm really doing a number on the old receptacle deposit here. Mm, I guess I'll go this way. Is there anything back around like in this little spooky? Oh, there's dead guys. Fantastic. All right. I feel like this is the kind of game where there's going to be secrets and stuff around. So, like, I, I feel the need to look, but I'm going to try to resist that urge because I know I get caught up wasting time that we could be doing impressions. Keep out until told otherwise. Fair enough. All right. All right. Comrade belly plate. It's chill, man. We don't have to, we don't have to hang out. I don't want to smoke. Why would you have a book? I don't know, dude. I'm a fan of reading and literacy. Why don't you find a book? Liquid relief for imbibing and bathing. Okay. And then that's red mana right there. Good to dude. Do you guys live with the constant prattle of screaming and death? Is that just like the ambience that you all accept here? Um. The black flog, the mist that hungers. Stay with the sky, don't go below. The soil is hungry. Huh? The wounds that never stop, weeping like the Okay, you guys are unsettling. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. You feel like you're I feel like you're kind of a downer. That guy don't talk, so we don't have to worry about him. So after some doing, I found out that there's a door right here, and I gotta smack this wall until the door comes open. I went out into the swamp, and there was piranhas in there. So don't go out in the swamp. That's a mistake. That's a dangerous swamp, all right? There's some big, nasty things out there that really want to hurt you. Uh, what is this? Picked up an inflame spell. A tool to light torches, trigger explosives, and melt ice. Okay. Sounds like there's a dead guy right here. Uh, his color doesn't look quite right. Looks a little off. All right, didn't expect that to happen, but you know what? Sometimes you got to explode a dead body with the power of your priest muscles. That door opens. I can probably whittle my way through here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I can get in. Spider webs apparently slow me down like crazy. A little bit of mana right there. The dead people, sometimes they drop coins. I only know this because I smacked a dead body when I was in the middle of town and it dropped a bunch of coins. Let me do the inflame spell. Let's do that. Oh, look at that. It burned it up. Oh, it's like a flamethrower. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's refill our mana and get ready for war. Oh, there's a zombie. Hold on. Burn! Um, I don't think it's working. The zombie appears to be very, very immune to the- Ow! Hey, 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 Gross. Okay. Uh, apparently just an explosion of severed body parts. The lice slew. Fantastic. Dead guy, you got any coins or any- Hey, there's a coin. Nice, dude. I love money. Die. Die. 
Are you dead yet? Okay, he's dead. I just, I wanted to give him a few extra hits just in case, because you never know. Yeah, it looks like blunt implements are the best way to get rid of those little turds right there. I don't need the, oh, it's health? Nice, dude. My health is full? Very nice. Okay, let's have a further look around. One of these is going to get up. I bet it's you. Nope, it's not you. Is it you? Nope. Is it you? Okay. It's entirely possible that I've called this situation wrong. Oh, there's a bunch of them behind the gate right... Get back! Get back! I don't know if it's my job to hold the wall right here. Oh, he's right there. Hold on. Let me give him a little bit of the... Let me give him a little bit of that. Yeah! How you like me now? Give him the old Shazam. Oh, I ran out of magic. Hmm, that wasn't as effective as I had kind of hoped. Well, he's dead now, so, you know. Maybe, maybe in a just world, my flames of righteous retribution kind of, like, started him off, I guess. Looks like there's some more breakable stuff over there. More dead guys. I get the feeling dead guys are not going... This is not the last we're going to see of dead guys around here. Uh, what's in the water? Dude, I don't want to be in this water. This water is super gross. I got my mouth open and everything, dude. Because I don't can't breathe through my nose. Can I, like, defend or something? Is he dead? Okay, I just want him to be dead. I need to make sure. I'll take your, I'll take your one extra slew nickel. Thank you for the slew. Oh, he's behind me. Is he dead now? His head came off, so I'm going to assume he's dead. It doesn't look to me like we've got access to any kind of parry or like defense ability. Let me let me bust up some crates here. Anything inside the crates? No. Oh, there's another one. I think we just gotta juke those guys, is really what it comes down. Oh, that one had stuff in it. Oh god! No, stop it. Go away. Uh-uh. These are some pretty lively dead guys. I'm used to my dead guys being a little bit more mundane. Then again, I don't have that many dead guys, so maybe my... Aw, oh, dude, don't do that. Scary-ass doors that open up. Do I have a map or anything? I'm just trying to get my health back up for right now. This looks like it loops back to where we were. There's a zombie right there. Oh, there's two zombies. Um, do you got... Oh, I don't have any magic left. I am the Batman. I give you the bat smack. I think they're dead. My bat spat, my bat smacks were incredibly effective. Okay, so inside the poo drain, it looks like we haven't really. Oh god! Oh, it's in my zombie wounds. Gross. Any more health in here? Just coins. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to need coins that badly. Yeah, just kind of destroy him. You got to jump them before they get up. That's the secret. Yeah, you come over here and then... Oh, I knocked his arm off, but I didn't do a good enough job of it. He still managed to wound... What did I just... Oh, money. Okay. I got scared for a minute. Dude, I love the sound design in this game. That's what's jumping out at me right now. Like, everything sounds really impactful. Like, even things like picking up coins and picking up health are really satisfying. And it's got kind of a bassy intonation to the clinks and clunks and whatnot. All right. Nothing else seems to be over here. Let's go up the giant spooky stairs. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this game's definitely giving me, like, Hexen meets King's Field vibes. Something tells me we probably don't want to break that. We probably just... Dude, you think somebody come in here and clean this up. There's just... There's so many of them, you know? Like, I don't know. To me, this seems like the kind of civic problem that there should be, like, an agency or something that deals with this. Then again, maybe I'm in the unenviable position of being the agency that's supposed to take care of this. Uh, there's two bad guys over here. Let's go deal with them. We got some red mana over here. I think I'm successful. I think I won. Uh, it looks like we can put an explosive barrel right there and blow up the bodies, but I don't have an explosive barrel. I wonder if there's fall damage. Well, science time. Um, if we fall into water, it appears as though there is no fall damage. There we go. Let's finish him off real fast. 
Are there any other open like doors or portcullises or whatever over here? So we got some stairs right there. Like when you're in the water, you kind of slide around like you're on ice. And so it makes kind of attacking and moving very difficult to be effective about. More dead guys, huh? Ooh, big pouch of coins. Take that. Yo Ooh, health potion. Yay. Uh, and also some red magic, so that's good. There was one coin in that pile. I'm sure it was worth the exerted effort. Okay. There's a ladder right there. And it looks like there's a torch, maybe? Let's go up there and see if we can grab that. More dead body piles over here. God, it must smell absolutely terrible down in here. Picked up a wooden lever, a key ingredient to mechanical function. Let's find out where it fits. Okay, if that's what you want to do. It does seem to me as though there's like a point to destroying all this. They do a pretty good job of incentivizing you destroying everything because there's mana, and there's health, and there's money inside all the crates. Uh, I do want that mana right there. I'll take it. I mean, my flame spell doesn't really seem to be altogether that effective, but no. Stop it. Are you dead? Okay, he's dead. Um, There's a health potion over there. I'm going to try and go grab that real quick. Also, some free health. Okay, so we've got our health potions. That door right there opens because we can do that. And now we've got an explodey barrel, which it looks like we can... Oh, no. There's more of them. Okay. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, grab that before more of them spawn. We put it down right there, and then we get the magic spell. And how big is this going to blow up? Ah! Apparently, we killed off the corpse pile. That appears to be something that is worthy of prose, <laughs> praise, and song. So, feels good, man. Feels good. Uh, we've got more explosives. I haven't seen any other corpse piles, though. So, let's maybe try to ferret out where those are at. We've got a little bit of health over here. I'll definitely take this. This affect the crates, maybe? It does look like it affects the crates, and it seems to be more effective than, like, using my stick to get it done. Uh, we got some more health over here. I'm going to grab it real fast. Just to make sure we don't slip underneath, like, recommended norms. It looks like I can't cast my magic spell while I'm in water. So I'm going to have to clear this one by hand. We can, like, go around, but I'm looking for free flow through the map, which is the direction I decide to go in. All right, so corpse piles. Oh, I know where we are. Okay. Another one of you guys, huh? Please die. Thank you. This one doesn't have a marker around it for, like, blowing it up. Oh, I think I found the other corpse pile. Now, we're going to need an explosive barrel, though. I guess I walked right past it. Where were my explosive barrels at? It looks like they're both on top of these little aqueducts. Okay, I think it's on the other side. So, we go up right here. We grab one of these bad boys. There we go. Hopefully, the zombies don't get too offended about the fact that I'm about to blow up their home. But, hey, sometimes you got to do some, like, explosive percussive maintenance out here in order to make sure the undead hordes don't cause problems. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. If these guys want to wake up and do anything crazy, then by all means, they're welcome to do so. But there we go. There's our other corpse file. The corpses are cleared. So... The town guard want me to clear up a grave clog underneath the city. It's going to take more than a firm hand and an iron stomach. The peat barrels did the trick by clearing up the blockage. I never expected to dare use magic. What am I becoming? I, I honestly can't tell you, man. I like the UI design. Everything looks very, very good. Like, I love how they've kind of mixed, like, modern with classic here. Like, basically, they've taken classic Hexen-style doom and, you know, Rise of the Triad visuals, and they've spruced them up a little bit for a modern audience. Which is great, because like people today should absolutely be able to sort of re-experience the classics in different forms. I mean, the fact that there's still people making Doom wads to this day is a huge indicator of like how good those games are and the quality of them. Well, I found a secret back here with some letters. The corpse piles ain't dead. Can't go up now, though. The guard is everywhere, and they already had it out for me. Okay. Uh 
Oh no, it trapped me inside. Uh, how do I get out? Not a, not a huge fan of how this is going. Oh, there's a lever right here. Okay. So he put that right there. Something moved. Yeah, it's right in front of us. And I guess that opens that back up, although, you know, I'd be a little bit nervous to even go for it at this point. Let's find our way back out so that we can get paid by the town guard. Because I think, ultimately, that was our goal. I didn't, the town guard never told me that I was supposed to come down here and kill a bunch of bad guys. But I did it, and so maybe I deserve a reward now. I don't know, some coinage? A kind word? Kind of a smirk and a wink? I'm not going down there. Okay. Good enough. I wish you hadn't brought the stench back up with you. Even the plague smells better. Go on in. Will do, brother. Will do. I'm going to guess that this guy is going to give us some exposition. I'm not one to plead, but you seem to be passing through, or at least you're not from here and aren't sick. You can't get out while that plagued horde is beating us down. I'm not fit to venture out, but you look tough enough. Go to the old sunken lighthouse. Refuel it from the storage towers nearby and light it. We might stand a chance if we can draw them away from the gate. Okay. Where's the lighthouse at? Is it tall enough that I can see it from here? Like, I think we went past it on the way in? But I honestly couldn't say with any sense of finality. I thought maybe if I got rid of the chair, I could get in there. I don't know. I was thinking maybe the chair was in the way and there'd be like some super spoopy secrets inside of there. I do like how it's kind of free roam and you can like go wherever you want and sort of do whatever you want. Oh, there are a lot of dead guys, man. This is not sanitary at all. Oof. I would hazard a guess and say that things are not going so well for this city. There's a crafter over here. We could probably go talk to him and see if he's got anything good for us. Oh, yeah, looky there. He'll give us some new weapons, the Warrior's Quill. You can also get a crossbow. It looks like there's some, like, gauntlets and stuff down here, but they're not available in the demo. Okay, well, I guess I'll buy a sword. I got 250 gold. I might as well increase my chances of survival here. Okay, kind of a big old beefy spotha. Seems to swing well enough. I don't know if it does more damage than what we already had, but hey. It looks like that's always equipped. Alright, so let's move that over there maybe. Did I just accidentally dupe an item right there? I think I just accidentally duped my items. I totally did. <laughs> uh, early access demos. You gotta love them. So, with the lighthouse, the tax collector suggested we lure them away. I need fuel canisters and a means to ignite the fuel. My new abilities, as abhorrent as they seem, might to seem to be exactly the fit. Okay. Um, a problem still persists. I don't know where the lighthouse is because I'm not from here. This is the musk egg. It seems like a new place. I hear the jingling of chains and the terror of the horrors that wait in the dark. Oh yeah, hey, what's up zombies? How you doing? Okay, oh, we get a parry with this, nice. Okay, let me see how the parry works. I mean, I didn't get a chance to test it right there because I was too busy being an explosive badass of violence, but you get what I'm trying to say. Looks like I can't get through there. I'm going to guess that the lighthouse is over this. Oh, he wipes the blade with his hand. Nice. I mean, not nice. Really unsanitary, but also cool. Looks like a key goes inside of there. And we ain't got no key. Can't decide if it reduced the damage or not. I definitely feel like I parried right there, though. And there's our key. Something's going to attack us when I take this, huh? Whittled bone and marrow for getting past obstacles. All right. Uh, let's go slot it on in. Oh, no. I don't want to mess with that thing. Oh, I get a lightning spell? Yeah, let me get a lightning spell, bro. Stun targets, power machinery, and electrify water. You swap spells with F. Okay. Uh, you might want to hurry this up, bro, Seth. I 
mean, it seems to have worked okay. Yeah, just light all these dudes up. That actually was kind of shockingly effective. Drink a potion real fast. All right, and I wasn't trying to be punny right there either. It just came out that way. Yeah, that's way more effective than just like hoping and praying. We don't seem to go through blue mana that quickly either. I mean, for a single target like this over here, I bet we can just, ah, uh, backpedaling is not the answer. Stop backpedaling, Splatty. Why do you keep doing that when you've already learned that lesson the hard way? The attacks feel good. They feel crunchy. I'm actually really, really into the aesthetic. I like the art design a lot. I also really like the fact that there's like call and like a reason to look through everything and see what you can find. Oh, that opens? Okay. Oh, there was a letter on that furniture. I wanted to read it. Oh man, weak. Hopefully it wasn't like a side quest or something. So I guess it was just a little monster closet. Can I open this? No, I can't open that, but I could open the previous one. Okay, so the green doors indicate that we can open them, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Ooh, I am rewarded. I am rewarded with many, many good things. Okay. Seems like there's going to be something right here too, dude. I've played a lot of Doom. It has honed my senses for finding secrets. Look at that. I found a secret one gold coin. Exactly. Bask in my majesty. Can I get through over there? No, those are bars. Okay. So that loops back. This over here, what is that? Barbs, maybe? I don't know what those are that I've been picking up, but they're like little crates of something, and they don't trigger my money, so I don't think it's currency. Oof, more Zambos, huh? All right, break out the repellent. I do like the comboing, too, in between casting spells and attacking. It feels like there's a function to it, because, like, we're not the best combatant on Earth. Like, we take a lot of damage when we get hit. We're not a heavily armored knight or anything of the kind. We're just, like, a guy. And so you really got to use the spells in order to supplement your abilities, in order to make sure you get the kills off against some of these larger groupings. What is that? Oh, cool. A wrist-mounted crossbow. Oh, sweet, man. Sort of dig that. 32 rounds. I mean, there's even more over there, so that's just a straight-up ammo crate. A little bit of health back. They're going to make me use this thing, aren't they? What is that? A peat fuel canister for quick refueling. I have no idea what that might be used for. Ooh, I like how the footsteps change depending on what surface you're on, too. That's very Tarkov-y. I don't think I need any more ammunition. Oh, that fire is really... Oh, I don't know what those are, but I'm going to kill them. Oh, I like how the arrow, like, kind of swirls around and is, in is kind of, like, inaccurate, though. You also have to lead enemies, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Yeah, let me get my reloads here. There we go. Perfect. All right, where are we going now, dude? I'm kind of getting into this right now. This is the mistake with me playing all these demos for the Steam Festival. Is there's just way too many games that I'm super excited about now. He went down easy enough. I don't know. He looked bigger than I... I don't know. He looked bigger than he ended up being. Yeah, okay. All right, I wasn't planning on triggering that large of an explosion, but sure. I don't know if those are hostile. They don't seem to be attacking me. Yeah, they seem to just be kind of flowing around. What I want to see is, is there hitboxes on these guys for, like, the heads. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a head hitbox. I know it's giving that impression because the third shot is always killing him, and the third shot always seems to be the most on, but... I don't like you. Go away. Stop it. I don't like you. Leave me alone. I'm a nice guy. I don't deserve this. Yeah, that one got him right in the head, and it doesn't seem to one-shot. But anyways, this is Graven. This is pretty rad. 
I'm excited to play this later on when it comes out. I really sincerely am. Check it out down below. I got a link for you in the description. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile. I found what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. This is definitely a rapid fire sort of Hex and Doom style game. And like, uh, oh, they do attack. Okay. Well, then stop that. Fair enough. We learned our lesson right there. Uh, I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. I do and take care, everybody.